Hither thou shall be free. Sarah is with those bastards. I gotta find her quick. Use that to hold the reservoir back. Sarah Hawkins was probably taken behind this huge door. Got to find a way to get through. Locked. Let's hope the key isn't far. Fuller was a crew member too. Interesting. Looks like a page from a log from 1847. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Still sharp enough. Okay. 
This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Doesn't work. This handle moves the reservoir. If I can get some momentum, it might work as a ram. It mentions the Leviathan, how it drove the sailors mad. Doesn't work. This should stop the cart from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. That voice. You're the Leviathan.
Sarah? Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Who's there? Your stubbornness at wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Fate leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moments one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Damn it! Everything points back to the day they brought in that thing. Sailors were going insane. Fitzroy and the mutineers took over the ship and probably killed the captain. An old log. Belonging to the captain of the Scylla. The pages I found seem to be the missing ones. Eat his flesh while he's still alive. Finally awake. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? Uh, Fuller! Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! <laughs> no. No, I'm not even really with you. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. But not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? 
Nothing, really. See, it's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. <sighs> Leviathan! I see you already know about it. Well, shall we begin? Let me take a sample from you. Flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Don't fear. I created the mythological eye core from Leviathan's... Who knows what I can... Fool. I... I killed him. A necessary sacrifice that proves your determination. Nothing's happening.
nothing's happening. Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna hurt you. I won't go without a fight. You think you're here of your own accord? Ah! Stay back, or I'll put a bullet in your head! Supreme Oracle has spoken. You will follow your destiny. What? It is awakening.
The voice. I can't hear the voice anymore. <laughs> Is somebody there? Hey, who are you? catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. To our fallen crew members, they have given their lives for a greater purpose. The last name added is that of Charles Hawkins. I'm willing to bet that they killed all the survivors of the miraculous catch. Back to the Scylla it was where it all began. Soon be time, Edward Pierce. You are dead. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy, too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you've fulfilled your destiny. No! Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. What has happened to you? Oh, Pierce. You insist on ignoring the truth when it's right there in front of you. Sarah Hawkins saw you as you really are. This painting is the proof. This is madness. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Colden! You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Fuller. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. You're mistaken. I believe no more in destiny than I do in vampires, gods, and their female prophets. Oh, well, well done. That were really impressive. Again, this denial. 
It doesn't matter anymore. The future is now but an image that Sarah Hawkins has painted for you. Why don't you go and join her, you who believe in nothing? And then, you'll see. You'll see that there are truths so powerful, so overwhelming, that even a mind as narrow as yours cannot withstand them. And what is your truth, Kuhn? What is your role in this story? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our Oracle. Sarah, tell me where you took her. We'll find her at Alabaster Point. I'm going to get her. Don't try to stop me. Of course. Shut up. Get out of my way. Stop fighting the dead. No one can fight their fate. Neither them, nor you. Resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. What happened to me? Sarah. I must go to Sarah. She is the Oracle. She will know what to do. Fuller, 
You died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, uh, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny although in vain make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. took your right to a normal life the moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. Your fear of the unknown and your stupid pride cloud your judgment. Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. It's not cowering that brought you those medals. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches. Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your tired mind. I'm almost there.
Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Look around you. Everything is falling apart. You must stop this madness. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. One man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written. Or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me! Double the dosage, as you asked us to, Doctor. Good. Thank you. 